In this video, let us learn about S curve in project management and how to create S curve in Excel and Pranamara P6. Welcome back to DP Tutorials. So these are the topics that I would be covering in this video. What is S curve? This is a tool to measure the progress performance. And S curve is nothing but a line graph plotting the cumulative values against the timeline. Cumulative values on Y axis can be either cost, units, man hours, and X axis will always be timeline. You may be wondering why we call it as S curve. The S curve often forms its shape because the growth of the project in the beginning stages is usually slow and forms elongated S shape as the project progresses. Benefits of S curve This effectively helps track the project and we can make the corrections to the plan by rebaselining. It will help in right forecasting on the cash flows. It helps in preparing all the stakeholders by regularly informing them on the progress and the resource ramp ups and corrections. Types of S curve Target S curve Cost versus time S curve Value and percentage S curves Baseline S curve Man hours versus time S curve Actual S curve Elements of S curve As more progress is made, the growth accelerates rapidly, creating that upward slope that forms the middle part of the S. This point of maximum growth is called the point of inflection. During this period, project team members are working heavily on the project and many of the major costs are incurred. After the point of inflection, the growth begins to plateau, form forming the upper part of the S, known as the upper asymptote, and the mature phase of the project. This is because the project is mostly finished at this point and is winding down. Typically, only tasks such as finishing touches and final approvals are left at this point. So if you see, A is the variance between budget and actual, B is the variance between baseline and actual, C variance between budget and forecast, D is the variance between baseline and forecast. E baseline at completion, F budget at completion, and G forecast at completion. Okay, now let us see how to generate S curve in Excel. This is a sample one, and I will show you how to create the same. First, plot the months in each cell in the first row, like this. Baseline plan percentages in the second row by each month. In the third row, you can enter the budgeted, that is targeted figures every each month. And in the fourth row, enter the actual figures till the current month. And in the last row, you can enter the future forecasted values like this for the balance periods. Now once the data is ready, select the entire data range and you can generate the graph either from the quick analysis shortcut or by going to insert tab. Select the line graph. Remove the chart title, format Y axis, lighten the grid lines, adjust colors, format as per your convenience to add value, like put the extra text fields to explain all the deviations in the graph itself. So, this is the final output of S curve generation in Excel. You can add as many as nodes into this to make it complete self-explanatory. Okay friends, now let us see how to create S curve in project management tool like Primavera P6. Open Primavera P6 sample project like this. Go to view, show on bottom, select the resource usage profile. Right click on the profile and click on the resource usage profile options. Select the bar that you would like to show. I am selecting the budgeted and actual for the date 
and cumulative. You can change colors and other settings as well. You can click on preferences to modify the calculations and other fields and click OK to see the S graph, S curve graph like this. If you want to print this S curve directly from Primera P6, you can click on print preview, click on page setup, go to options tab. Here uncheck the activity table and Gantt chart options, then select only the profile option. Then S curves will appear on the page which you can simply print from here. So friends, this is all about the S curve in project management and the creation of the same in the Excel and Primera P6. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks friends. Thanks for watching.